Hi, right, Coach Woldridge. Uh, we're a month, uh, about a month away from the uh, first tip-off of the game. What do you know about your team at, at this point? You know, at this point in the year with uh, basically limited time, we're able to be with guys in the gym. We feel like we're going to be much improved as far as you know, versatility and just ability to attack the basket and, and mainly be able to improve on the defensive end. So you've got about 95% of your scoring back from last year, a lot of the rebounding back as well. Talk about that, that cohesive group that's coming back. Yeah, that's, that's one special thing about this year's group is for the most part, it's the same crew that we went to, went to war with last year and guys that gained some valuable experience last year. And uh, we've got eight guys returning that played legitimate minutes for us last year. So that, that's a little continuity for us. We've got things to build on. Okay, let's look at the guards uh, coming that are here this year. Uh, and one that just jumps out at you right away is guy didn't even play last year, Kevin Franceschi. What's he going to mean to the team this year? Well, he's, he's a guy that we had had here with us last year. Came on strong in the, in the preseason wise. He was in one scrimmage with us, broke his wrist two days later in practice. And uh, you know, that, that really hurt us last year as far as depth wise. We felt like we had a, a strong starting five last year, but we had some had some younger guys off the bench that needed to develop some uh, some experience. And lo losing him was a big deal last year. That uh, dropped us down to just having really one viable ball handler and, uh, and just defensively especially. But his, his impact coming back and being able to do a lot of different things on the perimeter for us, that's really going to help us. Uh, Let's talk about some of the other guards you got going back. Uh, why don't you take us through it and start with, with, with Vladimir. Well, Vladimir's a guy who last year led the, led the GAC in assists last year by a wide margin, maybe an assist and a half, and I uh, really don't think that he was on top of his game for most of the year last year. It took a little bit of an uh, adjustment for him going from NAIA level to the D2 level, but uh, roughly the last 10 games in the year last year, once he, uh, he kind of got back in the flow, he was really, really good for us. So. Really look for him to kind of lead the charge for as far as having the ball in his hands most of the time. He's kind of a catalyst for us. Who are some of the other guys in the backcourt we're going to count on this year? Well, two guys last year that got a, gained a ton of experience for us last year, Tyler Lester and Caleb Norris. Both of those guys, when Kevin got hurt, were, were pressed into action last year. A little more stressful situations than we expected for them. And, uh, you know, they both shot it really well and took care of the basketball well for us. You know, gained a lot of experience as far as, like, trying to guard people at this level and, and being able to create things for themselves. And that's, those are things that here in the preseason I've noticed from them that they are much improved on. Okay. you got some new guards this year to, to count on too. Talk about those guys. A uh, new guy coming in for us uh, that I think is really going to help us at a lot of different spots is Trayvon Moore. He's a 6'3 he's a guard out of Oklahoma City. He played uh, two years at Tonkawa. And uh, he's capable of playing one, two, or three on the perimeter. And he's kind of a jack of all trades guy that can do a little bit of everything. And a, a guy like that can, can really round out your rotation on the perimeter. Uh, a couple other guys that are new that are fresh from this year for us, Darnable Henry is a left-handed, strong body point guard that uh, is really good out of the pick and roll, which would be a, an emphasis for us this year. And then Tyler Zivni is a really good catch and shoot player with a little bit of surprising athleticism and competitiveness to him. Okay. Um, let's talk about the, the bigger guys. Uh, first, start with the guys that are back this year. Uh, Chandler last year really made a huge jump for us. We, we, while we were at Southwestern Christian, we coached against him for a year when he was a freshman when he was here at OBU, and he primarily played you know, really an undersized five spot, which I mean, he, he got a little stronger last year, but he was the same size as he was as a freshman playing. And uh, you know, we, we used him in a little different role last year as basically a four-man and kind of stretched his game to the perimeter a little bit. And he, uh, he found new confidence and you know, shooting, shooting from the three and then also trying to create some plays off the dribble a little bit from that four spot. And he, uh, we expected some better numbers from him and some improvement, but he really went above and beyond what we thought he was going to be able to do. I mean, he, in conference play, averaged 15 and 8, about a block and a half, at, you know, 53% from the field or so. And that's, those are big numbers as far as, like, production goes. We just expect more of that out of him. And he just has gained more confidence as a perimeter player and uh, really expecting a big year out of him. And then uh, back kind of his front court mate last year, Tim Kuchkailis is back as a senior. He's, he's very mature, his, his game is, fits perfectly the way we want to try to play. I mean, he's 260, 270 pounds or so, but he's primarily a pick and pop guy. But when we were able to get him posted, he was really efficient down there too. And he's, he's a really better in presence on the defensive end course too. You've had some depth there this year. Talk about the guys that are new. Yeah, new guys we have coming in. Marco Zelich is a junior college transfer from Lamar, Port Arthur. He's 6'8", very mobile and athletic. He'll be really good for us defensively. You know, one of the major things always at our level is being able to 
being able to guard the pick and roll with your big guys who've got really active feet, can move well, and very agile. Uh, Jansen Hike is a guy that's back from last year also, played a lot of minutes for us last year. We kind of asked things of him last year that maybe he wasn't accustomed to. He played a little bit of three for us early in the year, then played some four and five late. So uh, he's back and got a lot of experience last year. Nico Travichka is a freshman. That's 6'7", uh, 230-ish or so. He's a big body to be able to bang around the paint for us also. And uh, Cagney Roberson is also back from last year. You know, he's on the football field right now catching passes, but he, he came on really strong for us last year at the end of the year once, uh, once we figured out what we had with him and, and what he could do for us. Um, and the big guy, the, the, the big score from last year, Stephen Green, is back this year. Talk about what he's going to mean this yeah, year. Yeah, Stephen basically is basically is tied for the leading returning score. This guy from Northwestern that scored one total point more than him in conference play last year. But uh, Stephen really kind of carried the load for us a lot last year as a scorer. You know, had to, had to play a little bit of backup point guard sometimes last year when Vladimir was either banged up a little bit or had foul trouble. He'll be, uh, he'll be freed up this year to really just do the things that he's really, really good at. And that's uh, having some other creators on the team around him. You know, he's, he's really grew into that role last year. It was kind of the first time for him being in that situation and really uh, really took a strong hold to it. He'll, he'll be one of the most talented guys back in the conference, especially at his position, but then all around also. You've got a couple of young guards also waiting their turn in Logan Gregg and John McBroom. What Where are they at? The yeah, those, guys are, those guys are great practice guys, and they come to – you know, it sounds kind of cliche to say they come to work every day and try to give us everything they can in practice, and they battle and always keep a keep always keep a positive attitude in there every time and working as hard as they can for us. What did you learn last year going through that gag schedule? Well, the main thing that we learned is that every night you have an opportunity to win or lose. And that's one thing on the NEI level that OBE was fortunate enough through the years that you know, go for your go through your conference play and you know that traditionally there's a team or two in your conference is not as strong as everybody. And uh, you know, that was something I experienced here as both a player and having a chance to come back here and coach some also. You know, in the GAC, every team is good. Everybody's got good facilities, everybody's got a good situation, everybody has a good coaching staff. So if, you're, if you come into a game and you're not quite where you need to be, or your guys aren't quite mentally on the same page, and you've got a chance to lose every single night. And just the consistency that all the teams bring, you have to be able to match that or you know, you're going to struggle. There were eight or nine games last year that were two or three possession losses. What What's going to tip the scale in our favor this year, do you think? I think the biggest thing for us this year is just having more depth. I mean, we were so dependent last year on three or four players that, you know, if we had our three or four guys that we were really riding heavy as far as minutes and production, if those guys all played well on the same night, we had a chance to, to win some games that maybe it looked like from outside that we shouldn't have any chance to win. And then we had other nights where maybe a guy or two was in foul trouble we really depended on or we were missing somebody and we came out on the short end. But, but for us, just having more depth and just trying to, trying to be more assertive and more aggressive. What um, expectations or goals have you set for this squad? Well, you know, this year this year is a different situation from last year. You know, coming in as a new coach here last year and basically having an entirely new roster coming into a, a new division, a new conference. We were a little hesitant about goal setting last year because none of us had any experience on this level as far as like going through the conference and where we were going to sit. And we, we very well could have come into the conference last year and finished first or like we did end up finishing, finishing last like we did. We didn't have a lot of you know, idea about how we were going to be last year. So we were a little hesitant about those things. This year, I mean, obviously for us, goal for us right off the bat is to make the NCCA tournament, which last year due to, due to some things, we came up a little short of what we needed to to be able to make that. For the rest of this year, that's our that's our championship and that's our postseason. You know, we want to we want to make some strides in the in the GAC conference standings, but then we want to qualify for the for our NCCA postseason and make a run at that. Got several home games this year. What's the what's the meaning of a uh, good crowd behind you in that student section? Well, that's a that's a that's a huge deal. It's always been a big deal here at OPE. It's always been traditionally a good student crowd here, and uh, also this year with having some upgrades here in the Noble Complex, I think that's going provide a more pleasant environment for everybody that's here and uh, just gives a little pop and a little, little shine in there. So, All right, Coach, thanks a lot. Right, thank you.